Hello and welcome to Patched, I'm your host Paul James. Today I'm joined by Matt Phillips. Damo will be back eventually. It's the Moving house has taken him a long time. It's it's what happens when you're packing up and moving um, overseas to yeah. Antarctica. It's called internet. Internet yes. takes longer than the move it in process. Yeah, especially when you're trying to connect in the arse end of nowhere. I don't know where he's moving. It could be true though. Telstra's just a shitty service full stop. So, we're diving into our patched updates for the month, and we've both had a bit of a chat beforehand. This could be a very short one. Um, Matt, I'm going to get you to lead us off, because you've got more to talk about than I do, I suspect. Uh, what have you been playing this past four weeks or so? Four weeks. Uh, some more, what I the game I call Shitty Witcher, which is Zelda. <laughs> sort of, I don't How know. far through it are you? I don't know anymore. I've lost track. I think I got up to the... The Goran place, Makes but... Shitty Witcher. There's the real Witcher right there. There you go. Uh, is that one of those T Fury? I can't shop? remember where I got it from, but it's it's pretty sweet. I'm a big fan. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I think I got up to the... I haven't killed any of the bosses yet. I've just given up on that. I think I got to the Goron location, but... Oh, yeah. I didn't have the money to purchase the, the uh, outfit because otherwise I'd burn. Because you had to keep spending the money on swords that kept breaking or something. I don't know what I spent it on. That was definitely not swords. I don't purchase oh, swords. That's just silly. Oh, no. Actually, I went and purchased the old secret Heidi, the stealth suit thing. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because I thought I needed that over the old heat thing because I could easily just go do some um, mining, go find some opals and stuff, and then just sell it off to someone. There's so many things that you mentioned in that statement that just they're just not Zelda. Get out no, of no, my Zelda. Ridiculous. Might yeah, be a brilliant cool. game, but it's not a good Zelda game. No, and uh, then I sort of gave up. I thought, you know what? How about I play a game where weapon durability is not rubbish, and I'm far more entertained. So I decided to play The Witcher 3 instead. Oh, nice. I thought, oh, you know awesome what? Awesome Witcher. I thought, I'm sick of just playing, get, playing this damn game. I can just use my sword, kill some things, and not have have the warning side coming up oh your weapon's about to break yeah the worst case you gotta do is you know maintain a little bit add some oils to it to kind of be oils better against certain weapons go to a, uh, sorry enemies go to a stone go to a stone yeah. and just sharpen it a sharpen little bit it, and then you're off to the races again yep I've had two swords the entire game so far hasn't broken once it's it's a relief god I missed I that, that I haven't got that I'm far. I haven't got again. far in I only got up to the barren part because the this best time part. around yeah, the time, this time around, I'm actually going to go and do all the Gwent quests. Oh, yeah. All how, of them. Jeez, how good is Gwent? I don't know about the, the actual spin-off game they created. That was... I mean, it was Gwent, but without that main music theme, the... Duh, 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 oh, no, yeah. better not. Otherwise, actually, I'll, we'll, we'll get, get a copyright, copyright strike. strike. Again, does um, it? It's, it happens, happens a lot to us we, so we're far. It's happened we're a lot. such good singers and musicians, and we just replicate it far too well. And so they keep tagging us for it. They don't understand. It's just I talent. Understand. But anyway, um, I mean, yeah, the, it's not the same without that main theme. Oh, the theme, yeah. You could just, the old, uh, I think it's a piccolo in there somewhere. We'll just describe the instruments, a lute and a piccolo. Yeah. And probably I, some tambourine type, type of thing. See, my, my lack of musical knowledge goes so far that you say piccolo and I just think about a green alien man. So. I was thinking that too. <laughs> I was thinking piccolo, and then all of a sudden some green alien just popped into my head. I know that it's a thing, but I don't know. I don't know it's anymore. Like a mate. Recorder. I think it's like a recorder type thing. I oh, could be making that up as well. <laughs> you if anyone right knows right. about if anyone knows about piccolos, you're more than welcome to come and educate us. S- sound off in the chat. Yeah. So by all means, we're not going to argue with you. We'll just go. Oh, that's interesting. And um, then we'll move on. Yeah. yeah. Anything else beyond that, So So Witcher, shitty Witcher. Uh, anything else? I think I talked about this last week. That that Noah Noya that. Irish Samurai named William. Oh, Neo, Neo. Neo, yeah. I'm just going to call it uh, Irish Samurai That'll from now on because I... Oh, man. If that's what Dark Souls is, I've never played Dark Souls ever. Yeah, that's that's what Dark Souls is. So. Unless you someone really, really... Like, really motivates me or gets my attention and go, oh, you should play, blah, blah, blah. Not happening. Are you going to see out Neo, though? I don't know. I think I played it for two hours. I, I think I got nowhere. Because when a good you feeling. just die, we, we, you pretty much just die. Go back to your little 
save checkpoint, whatever. Then all the enemies are come back. I'm thinking, oh no. They're yeah, always time, time's money, and we don't have time to be wasting with. Uh, I got better games to play then. Because I Pirate just thought, Samurai. oh yeah, I thought, oh yeah, because I start off, you just walk around, and go, oh yeah, kill him, cool, and then you just get to the more. That was the tutorial part, so the more easy part. Then I got to the actual game part. Yeah, you that your head kicked in. Oh, just get chopped in half, and I thought, oh yeah, I'll take on three people. That was a bad idea. That was <laughs> silly idea. I learned from that. So I just lure them out one by one, just throw rocks at them to get their attention. You can throw rocks at them. I watched Jay play it once and decided I was never going to play it myself because, yeah, okay, that's what a Souls game is. I don't need to do that. Yeah. And then what else? I got Finally, I got back into Apex Legends after I hadn't played for four months because there were better games at the time when I just stopped playing it. It was Borderlands 3, Division 2, and many others. I can't remember the rest of them. There was a lot. It was a busy end of year last year, though, still. Oh, um, yeah. How have you made that jump back into it fairly easily? Like, I mean, I assume everyone else has gotten really good, and you're kind of wherever you were before. Or no, is it, or is it pretty much the same? Somehow I got better. All oh, right, okay. I, just over everything, it's just it's weird. I don't know what the hell's going on. I don't think there's worse people. I just because I'm like killing more people, more damage, and all this crap. I'm just scratching my head, going, "What the hell's going on?" Yeah, righto. That's all right. And like like my it. first thousand games, I was rubbish. And then like the first hundred games I played, I've like been killed leader three times, which has never happened in my <laughs> yeah, okay. lifetime. Maybe, maybe they've like sorted the pools of talent out. So there's like this really high league that you're just not in. And then, maybe. You're, then you're the best of the rest. Because there's been a lot of teams I've been with that are like level two or three and we're thinking, oh yeah, I've got, I'm actually the good person in this team. Are you, is, is it shock. just because... Isn't has it the new season just started? Is it just people yeah, jumping in at season. this point? Yeah, new season. New maybe. season, yeah, maybe. You never know. Maybe someone said, Oh hey, come play this. I mean it's a pretty big, pretty popular game and respawn's killing it, so easy to see yeah. why people might and you can just prey on all the shit people. Yeah, it's fun. That's probably why I got more people. Kills for. Yeah, I was taking out what I used to be once. Yeah. It's good. Good. It's fun in, times. Um anything else? Yeah, I've got a heap of things. No, you, uh, okay, so, you are carrying us this episode. Then I've got like two. That's that is unheard of. In it's all the episodes good. I've been on, yeah, I usually have carry, to. Pr- I carry. have to usually prune my stuff back to make sure that we don't like, have an episode that goes for five hours. Like, like you or Debo carried it, never me. Uh the first Yakuza. Oh, nice! Hey, wait, the remastered like, one. Oh, it's a Kiwami one. So, okay. Yeah, I don't I was know. Sure if yeah, you meant like Yakuza Zero or. No, no, not the zero one. They said, because they said one's the weakest of the series. So I thought I'll do it in what year of release? Because then, because if I played, if I reckon if I played zero, then one, I would have just got bored of one. I reckon. Yeah. Okay. So like, it's only up from here. Yeah, that's because that's. I think Matt sort of tweeted and said the first one's the weakest. I thought I gotta play the first one. Get out yeah, of the way. Yakuza's just sweeping player two at the moment. Oh yeah, so Matt. You, hey. I, I feel the itch. I've I've been like gradually downloading them when they're cheap on PlayStation Network. So I, I'm probably not that far away myself. Yeah, I've got them on a shit. PC, but when it when you open the game, it says real Yakuza's use controllers. I thought, oh, will they? Yeah. I'll listen. So I used I'll... The, I used the PlayStation controller because I'm pretty sure it was just a PlayStation. Was it a PlayStation only franchise? For yeah, yeah, and, until, until till next month. Yeah, and when all the stuff starts popping up on Game Pass Game for Price. Xbox and all that sort of stuff, yeah. I feel like it's not going to feel the same. For some reason, it's just the controls. Well, I, I, I think the upcoming Yakuza 7 still, or what is it, the Yakuza Like a Dragon, that's still PlayStation exclusive, at least for a little while. Maybe it'll come. It'll probably come to Xbox later and PC later, but I think at launch it's still PlayStation, so if you... If you love Yakuza's and you don't love that it's going elsewhere, don't worry, I think you're still safe for a little while yet. It's just the old uh, Xbox deal as yeah. they've been doing. Yeah, I haven't really played too much of that yet. I it's not going to sell like on Xbox, time. so... Nah. Stop. It's like when, it's like when Final Fantasy came across where people are like, oh, great, it's on Xbox, but Xbox players don't play oh, JRPGs. PlayStation fans... It's a, it's a PlayStation like, thing. Yeah. And it was a Nintendo thing before that, but yeah, like it's a Japanese thing. It's... Oh, so, yeah, I forgot about that. So the old Super Nintendo days. Yeah, 
So it'll, it'll, it'll spend its time on... Uh, most people spend their time on the PlayStation version. If you get it on Xbox, good on you. I play it on PlayStation. Yeah. It just feels right. It's just one of those games... It's home. Just, yeah, it's like when a console game goes to PC you just, and you sort of know it's not a PC game. Go play it on a console. I'm definitely keen to I try it because all the... It's not been confirmed, but there's all the rumours about Horizon Zero Dawn coming to PC. I want to try oh, that really? out on PC, yeah. I want, I want to see how that goes and whether it actually... So like might look, actually look really nice. Yeah, I mean... I'm, I'm looks, not a graphics person. Yeah, I mean, it already looks incredible on the PS4, especially if you've got a pro, but holy shit, it'll look amazing on the PC. But I'll be curious to see how it plays, like the keyboard and mouse, because you're right, like some things that they're, they're made and designed for a controller. All and, that ray tracing. Yeah. Ooh. And all that stuff we know about about PC lingo. Yeah. Teraflops. Yeah, we, know, we know nothing. DRAM um, and stuff. DRAM? I don't know. I just know that's the thing that the PS5 is going to have in it and PlayStation can't get enough of it, and that's what's ballooning the price out of the console. Oh, I thought it was just going to be like a 4K DVD player or something. Yeah, I don't know. Like, like, oh, pre- like the last decade with the whole Blu-ray. Versus HD DVD. Yeah. And that just went through. That that price went through the roof. You got well RAM versus DRAM. Nine ninety nine. Still bought it. I did. I, I brought mine four, no, three years ago. Three That's years right. after PlayStation 4 released. You got, you got the opportunity released. to catch up now. I thought mine was dying the other day. It's not. Oh, no. Mine's probably full of dust. Uh, I, was just a, I was just an idiot and trying to... And you know this, and listeners, if you're not familiar with kind of some video editing stuff, well, you're about to learn it now. Um, I tried to play PS3 and PS4 at various points um, through the capture card whilst I was editing episodes of Patched or other Player 2 plays and that sort of thing where just all the processing power for the PC was dedicated to the video editing. And so, like, I'd, I'd go to play the game, I'm like, oh, great, and then it just freezes. I'm like, what the fuck's going on with my PS3? But like, okay, I guess it's finally dead. And thankfully, I kind of pointed out to Matt, I'm like, do we? Like, firstly, what, what should I be getting for, you know, uh, capture cards at the moment? Because it looks like my ripsaw is dead. And then I kind of exp- I explained the whole situation falls to what was going on. He goes, no, 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 you're just, like, beating the shit out of your CPU. Stop it. Just let, let the video do its thing and play the PlayStation after. Lesson learnt. Crisis averted. Don't share your resources when you're when you're editing video. Just let it do its thing. And Uncharted Four is my final game. I finally Good. finished that. Oh yeah. And I say, what a way to send it off. Don't talk about that ending. That's, oh no, that's big, big, big spoils for people. But no. But as you say, if you played one to three, it's the same layout. We'll just yeah. I'll just say that much. If you play, I'm not gonna say what it is what you do in one to three. Find treasure. I'll put oh, a yeah, question I mean, mark yeah, like the, the, I mean, the end of the actual adventure bit. Yeah, you know, I, pro- I mean, we, we'll still try to avoid spoiling it, but that's not anything necessarily hugely revolutionary. But it's the no. it's the but scenes it's after probably, all that that are kind of the big spoils yeah. for you know what I, is or isn't to come for Uncharted and all that sort of stuff. So like ha- the specific how it ends and that sort of thing. That's that's the stuff we'll dance away from. But like that final combat sequence. Oh yeah, oh, it was awesome. Oh man, so I, wasn't, I wasn't sure. Yeah, I wasn't so sure what I was doing. Like, okay, go do that. And then I saw that, like, started to pick up on it. Like, oh, I see. And then you start moving and doing that. Like, oh, I've got this. And then all of a sudden, just throws a spanner in the works, and you just go, oh, damn it. Oh, they keep you on your toes. Yeah. And, but most of my time, I played like little bit, bits and pieces of those games because most of my time has been taken up with La and War. Oh yeah, yeah, and that's yeah. actually kind of similar to my issue with my gameplay this month, where it's been all Resistance, which was for the full playthrough series. We spoke about kind of those sort of series and what we've been up to there. And in an episode, was it last week or the week before? But um, I think it was two weeks ago. But yeah, it, do, it does no, kind of consume a lot of your gaming time in the end when you are just like sure you're playing it, and you're enjoying yourself doing it, but all of a sudden because you've decided to play the full playthrough of a, of a game, that's suddenly one. You whole forget all game about those and, other yeah, games you'll be everything playing. Else. So it's not a bad time to do it though, because there's not exactly much out in Feb. But come March, Ooh, once Ori arrives, and then we're off to the Doom races. Comes in Doom and Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing. Yeah, they both. That been talked about for ten years. Yeah, but they're both out on the same day, March twenty. And you can go slaughter uh, demons and go live on a deserted island. What about the console or the Switch? The teal blue Switch. It looks pretty nice. Angelica wants me to buy another one for us. I'm not going to do that because we've already got two. 
You spent it all on your loot box yeah. thing for Borderlands. It's like, oh, you can get it for our son. No, 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 no. He doesn't need that yet. He's too too young for that yet. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, LA Noir and Resistance on, on both ends are kind of keeping us busy with the full playthroughs. And, yeah, for me, it seems to have affected me with what, I, what else I'm playing far more than it has you. Like, I've put a tiny little bit of time into into Dragon Ball Kakarot just to progress a little bit, but I'm still in the Freezer saga there, so I'm not, not motoring through that at any rate. Um... As you observed before we started actually recording last week, uh, as I waved my rant, my phone around at one point, uh, friend of oh, the show, go, yeah. friend of the show, and fa- uh, fan of the show, Jamie Penning, um, asked me a little favour. Uh, he, he, you know, still active, very actively playing Pokemon Go, and he'd asked uh, if I could kind of, ju- well, didn't necessarily ask, but kind of just pointed out, hey, we're, we're like four or five days away from just gift exchanges from being best friends. And I think that might have unlocked, like helped him unlock something, some tier for something at that point. If he just got one more person, I was the closest one to it. So I thought I'll jump back in and I'll quickly do that. Like I'll just log in each day, send the gift and then then get out. But I've toppled back down the well again. Because in the time since I've been gone, which has been, I don't know, 12, 13, 14 months, something like that. Uh, they've they've added a whole bunch of Gen Four Pokemon. Gen Five is here. I've got a Garbodor, a hundred a oh, hundred a hundred IV Garbodor. So I'm just gonna like drop him in the middle of the screen here somewhere. Oh, Damo, um, you missed it. Yeah, little screenshot of that. Garbodor is here. Garbodor is in my game. Garbodor kicks ass. Um, he doesn't actually. I but it's just nice to have a hundred IV one by sheer chance. Egg hatches. It works a treat. Um, so yeah, I've kind of. I'm re-exploring that one a little bit. I don't want. I'm not going to let myself get kind of out of control like I did at one point there. Um, but it's kind of good getting back into it again. Um, and I guess the other one that I've kind of been playing has been well, so Dark Side Genesis came out uh, for consoles. I played it last year. Uh, the reviews on the site for PC came out to the PS4. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, I played that. It was that was one of PAX. I played yeah. it on the dodgy screen. Me yeah. and Matt played on the dodgy screen. I yeah, should say. Well, yeah, no, I remember that. Yeah, that was not fun. Uh, but the the final release was really, really good. Uh, and now it's on consoles as well, so I can't help myself. Um, there's some trophies. It's a game I enjoy. I'll play it again. So I just kind of started that in the last few nights, and I'm just going to chip away at that until until I'm finished again. But no no great rush for that one, similar to Dragon Ball. Um, the only other one I've been playing, and it's probably the one that, I don't know, the, well, it's the, the newest, freshest, probably most important release of all the things kind of this month is uh, Dreams. Mini Molecules Dreams for the PS4. So the the video game that is a video game creation engine. Do you know much about Dreams? No. I, um, I never really looked into it until like, do, you talked about you remember, it last week. Do you remember Little Big Planet? Yeah, I remember yeah, so Little Big Planet. I think that sort of idea, it's the exact same team, um, except it's like, so obviously Little Big Planet, you could play games, you uh, play levels, you could create levels, you could share levels, and it was just, it was huge for the community. It's the exact same premise here, the whole play, create, share thing for, for Dreams, but like 10 times bigger. You can just create full yeah. games, anything now, I've you want. I've seen people I've play, like, created like Super Mario. Yeah, there's some sh- pretty shit that. Marios out there, but like people have created Dead Space. There's PT, like the, the demo for PT yeah. that you know Kojima did for Silent Hills, uh, which you can't actually download on PSN now, but if you log into Dreams, you can just play, <laughs> you can just play a recreated version of PT on Dreams which should be good because I never actually got to play PT, so I might give it a crack there. Um, or I'll just watch a Lance McDonald video because he's broken the shit out of that that game. But anyway, um, uh, like there's some cool first-person shooters in there. There's some cool platformers. I've got a few videos up on the Player 2 YouTube channel dedicated to them. I'm doing a little community showcase series there, so go and check those out. Um, I'm just really intrigued by the whole game just because it can be anything, and I feel like the longer the thing is out, and obviously it's been in... Um, early access for a fair while but the longer it's out the better some of the games that are in dreams like will be so i'm going to keep tracking it i'll try and jump in you know at least once or twice a week even if it's only for half an hour just kind of sift around and see what the community is making see what's see what's popular and try some of these things out so i might actually get it they work surprisingly well and yeah i mean to your point about getting it like it's it's like 55 bucks it's not even a full price yeah, it's, game. yeah it's nothing yeah i so, looked at it was like 50 bucks i thought can't go wrong yeah so you well, got there's like heaps it's of a, it's a, games yeah it's a game that has thousands of games yeah. in it. so and those more every day it's, it's not even like those shitty collections like you know 
50 games in one and they're all steaming piles oh, of shit. Like, there, so there's like definitely some steaming piles of 50, shit. But. 50, 50 pol- versions of Pong. Yeah. It's all like th- those things. Yeah, holy there's shit, all, those were the days. Oh, God. Just think about it. Like, you get the old dodgy console, like, oh, get 32 games. So it's just counterfeit versions of Space Invaders and yeah, Pac Man. Whereas, yeah. yeah, these are like really kind of serious, meaningful projects. And like, I wouldn't be surprised if, and it happened with. You hired some people that were creating some of the best stuff in the game. This will probably be the same thing here. You might even see people get hired for other projects external to this. Like, I feel like it's a really good breeding ground for talent. And I haven't even tried out the levels that Media Molecule themselves have made. So. Might just get ignored. Everyone will go the, to the other made ones well i mean i'll definitely go from at some point because there are trophies attached but of course you would but well and also let's i mean they're the experts they've been working on that that game and that engine for well almost a decade now so they do know it better than anyone else but but then yeah like the community stuff's the stuff that's intriguing me the most so because of that to my point about trophies after having spent several hours i am on a trophy percentage of zero because there's nothing directly attached to the oh dream um no they can't say you know complete this person's project because you can't do it yeah you can't do it you don't know um so a lot of it's attached to like hitting certain levels for completing enough levels and uh, and all that sort of thing but just, it's not a game where i'm feeling the itch or the scratch for trophies yet it'll come there'll be it, it'll come if i if i'm like 10 hours into this thing and i haven't pinged a single thing i'm going to be starting to wonder okay i need to go chase down something just so i can say that i've that zero is just going to be on it's, your mind. I mean, it's worse when it's like one or two percent. That that's actually like nags at me even more. So I'm kind of okay with the zero because I can just delete it if I need to. But I'm not going to delete it, and I will get more than zero percent because Dreams is awesome. Oh, um, so if it's one percent, you can't delete it. Yeah. Oh, as soon, that, okay. as soon as it, yeah, you can't delete trophies. So I think there, there's okay. Because like so I, yeah. I deleted one, I thought that went easy. Then I tried to delete another one, and just went, no, you can't delete it. Like, oh. Me? Yeah, if, if there's zero percent, you haven't registered anything. You can get rid of it. But if it's anything above oh. zero, that's it. It's yeah. it's there forever. That one percent ruined me. Nah, yeah, that's all right. I'll live with it. I, uh, PlayStation needs to. You know, I think maybe it's already a thing. I don't know. They need to allow like password functionality for uh, for your logins when it comes to the consoles because when Noah's old enough and he's playing PlayStation, if he goes into my account and pings like one percent on a, on some piece of shit game. Oh, I'll lose, I'll lose my mind because then I'll have to. Then I'll actually have to play it, so I can't look at that percentage. Fortnite. That'll oh, be the be end. That'll be the end of you. That might be the end of me, actually. You the sledgehammer to the PS. That no, won't be. Just that's it. I'm an Xbox gamer now. I'm, I'm converting to PC. <laughs> oh, that's when we know we hit a hit a bad bad that, place. That's, that's why you've turned to the dark side. I had actually planned on playing uh, Death Stranding this month. Uh, I think we discussed it in the last updates, and I never got a chance to do it in the end. Yeah, I think um, you just... were, said you are going to get onto it. You said, oh, you're going to get onto Death Stranding next month. You never did. Yeah, and it was just, oh, I got slammed. Like, work has been insane since I've gone back. I mean, last time we did this, I hadn't returned oh, to work for the year. Yeah. Um, and then, and usually it's not a real issue, but this first four or five weeks has just been ridiculous. So um, it's starting to slow down now, so I might actually be able to start getting into things like Death Stranding, but I don't know. It's what we're getting towards the end of Feb. Or he's out on the eleventh. Um, I'll see what I can. I'll see if I can fit it in. It gives me two weeks, three weeks. Hopefully, that's enough time. I I still hear that it's like a forty-hour game, so we'll see what happens. What Ori? No, no, no. Um, oh, Death Stranding. Oh, Death Stranding. I thought that's a for Ori. Yeah, oh, yeah that's a, that's so a long-ass Metroidvania. Oh, yeah, incredibly lost if that was the case. Yeah. And, like, Hollow Knight was huge, but not even Hollow Knight was that big. What are you planning on playing over the course of the next month? Oh, no idea. Yeah, for me, Death Stranding and Ori, but... I might try and finish couple... the first Ori. Oh, good call. Good call. And, yeah, just try and remember what the he- where the hell I've got to go, because it's one of those things where it just tell- tells you, oh, you got to get here. But I can't remember how to get there. Oh, yeah, picking picking up, like, part of the way through a game. I think we did a, an episode about this at one point, kind of... Oh yeah, yeah like did. shaking yeah, off the, did, yeah. the, the game rust one, shaking off the game rust. Yeah. Um, and yeah, that's a that's a really good example of exactly that. Yeah, go get attacked by an owl again. No, I probably won't. I think I've got past that part. Oh, I can't remember if I've got past that part. Um, I don't know what else. Probably f- try and finish off Yakuza. 
go back to Studio Witcher if I can try. <laughs> and what else? Oh, and the update. Modern Warfare has completed downloading, so oh, I actually good. might actually play that. And what are you going to go for? The campaign? Or are you going to go for a bit of multiplayer? Uh, a bit of both, bit of both. I reckon. Because I've heard the that campaign's, the campaign's amazing. actually good, yeah. So I might actually play campaigns. It's been the first Call of Duty game I've played since Modern Warfare 2. Okay, so you so never played, like you two. never finished the fight with Modern Warfare 3. Okay. They didn't start with Modern Warfare 3. Yeah, so I'll, I'll have to uh, fix up my Play 2 bio there because it says on there, I haven't played a COD game since Modern Warfare 2. So I've I, got can a, get, I can change that. Race. Just, to, just erase that part. You just put, I haven't we'll, finished we'll Battle Still finishing Battle Toad since 1997. Won't finish Shitty Witcher, that sort of thing. I feel she with you. Oh god. Oh, or took me three years to complete Majora's Mask on Nintendo sixty four. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's yeah. Well, that too. Yeah, still stuck there. No, I'm not. I, I was actually Just one of those people waiting. that actually got through the water. Yeah, temple. I was first. Other people, other people say, "Oh, I got stuck." I'm like, how do you get stuck? Then they showed me around. God, I don't know what you've done. Like, yeah, sure. if you uh, can't, like if you do some of the keys wrong, it'll get you in a real yeah, mess. Yeah, get you. You can't get out. I don't think. Oh, you can. You can just use your stupid diamond thing. Yeah, and get out of there. But then, I, yeah, it doesn't fix up the doesn't keys, fix, so yeah, I think you're still screwed. It. Sucked in. Yep, that was a time before <laughs> patches. On that note, for anyone, that ends this episode. You're not patched. getting it out. Trust me, <laughs> you're done. <laughs> That ends this episode of Patch. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. All the details are down the bottom. Hit the notification bell. That way you load it to every new video the moment it goes live. That includes more Patch, the insider player two plays, like Game Review, Gamer School, and a whole bunch more. Go and check out Maddo's. Um, he's got a, an untitled Goose Game Let's Play that's there. We've got, obviously, hey, LA there. Noir. Uh, no, no, it's going up this week. Um, that's my plan, anyway. Within the next week, before the next episode goes of Patch goes live, it will be up. Um, there's uh, the Resistance, Alain Noir, a whole bunch of other bits and pieces. Go check all that out. More Visit dreams, the, yeah, more dreams. There'll be dreams popping up, kind of sporadically whenever that happens. Uh, visit the website play 2nxau There's reviews, previews, opinion pieces, news features. Uh, go and check. Like we are suddenly exploding with numbers. Uh, visits to the site. So join the thousands actually I can't, I'm not even exaggerating but the thousands that are just coming get in line come every on every single day at the moment to come and check out all the stuff that they're playing too come so on go, in go have and do a read that. Um, have a read watch a video watch a video and subscribe to the podcasts patched the audio version uh, the player 2 pixel cast which is back for the year and dev diary where if you're a playstation fan by now if I do the numbers in my head I've already announced that Eric Jensen from Sony Bend uh, responsible for Days Gone from last year uh, he's on the show this Thursday, so go and check that out. I've been sweating on that one for a long time. I've been sitting on it for a long time, and I'm kind of glad that I can just is talk he, about it now. Is he coming on because it is award-winning? Uh, it was recorded before the award-winning status was earned. But yes, the award-winning... I do award like how you said that on uh, your Operation... Was it Operation PlayStation? Yeah, I think so. You said, you threw my name and said that I've been saying it ever you've been, since. You've been forcing me to say it in the episode. If, hey, if I don't hey, say you, it, you hey. kind of... Hey, you, you never said it. You, it's just, it's all been me. Yeah. You just and say then, it after. And, and then I go, yeah. And that's where the like, force yes. comes in. Yeah, I don't Yes, you're right. It's the award winning. Yes. Yeah. And then there, was, then there was some tweets the other day, and I just got super oh. self indulgent and just started going, yeah, the award winning dev dog. And then uh, I came back in again. Yeah. Did you uh, say award winning? We're on Patreon, patreon.com slash player2au, kicking a few bucks at the lower tiers, early access to episodes, high tiers, monthly episode exclusives. And of course, if you're a patron, still safe for now uh if you're a patron we have got a physical copy of a magazine uh celebrating the five years of player two uh i think at any tier you just get it a physical copy is a big thank you for everything you've done so uh yeah, i've got please, some good stuff for that book yeah i, I need to actually I've, I've got some writing i've got to do for that so i better i better get to work on that before matt kills me um and then there's twitter uh you are at yeah, I nearly called to demo. Feel. I nearly, I nearly demo. called to demo for a second. Attack of his talks. Because I usually go left from right, uh, left to right, and demo would be on the left, but not I'm today. At, at Tarko's talk. Uh, I'm at Matto underscore Phil. Also, Paul James Games. 
the website's player2au and after that little shit show at the end there thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time go out and play some cool games except Zelda it sucks <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>